Does your furry friend take over your bed every night? It's time to reclaim your space while giving them the comfort they deserve with the coldest, cozy dog bed. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description to buy now on Amazon. It was an odious encounter with a nurse in a remote Alberta hospital that persuaded Heather Hancock how Canada's euthanasia system was coming badly off the rails. Hancock suffered from cerebral palsy since infancy and was used to bullying from her school days, but the treatment she got at Medicine Hat Regional Hospital was something else. A nurse was helping her into the bathroom at night during a lengthy bout of care for muscular spasms in 2019 when the carer crossed a line into the unthinkable. You should do the right thing and consider made, said the nurse, referring to the country's medical assistance in dying program. You're being selfish. You're not living, you're merely existing. Hancock, now 56, says she was gobsmacked, but stood her ground, telling the nurse that her life had value, even if she spent four-fifths of it in a wheelchair. You have no right to push me to accept maid, she recalls saying to her sneering carer. She later complained about the nurse, who was taken off her care team, but did not make an official complaint. Health Alberta said the nurse's comments were entirely unacceptable. For Hancock, it was the most egregious but not the only time her supposed carers advised her to end her discomfort with a lethal injection. On three separate occasions, medical staff nudged her toward MAID, she says, all of them after Canada launched its euthanasia program in 2016. That system has expanded rapidly. Last year, doctors helped 15,280 suffering people end their lives prematurely, according to estimates obtained by DailyMail.com, a 15% jump on 2022. Some 60,000 people have died from MAID since the program was launched, and it accounts for 4.6% of all fatalities. Doctor-assisted suicides helps recipients escape the misery of cancer, heart disease, and other terminal illnesses. But for Hancock and others with disabilities, its availability has changed the way they are seen by carers. They just view me as a drain on the medical system and that my healthcare dollars could be spent on an able-bodied person, she says. Hancock was born in Alberta in 1968 and lived, studied, and worked as a hospital clerk for many years in British Columbia. Her worsening muscular condition forced her to stop working more than a decade ago. She nowadays claims disability benefits and lives in an assisted facility in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, writing and campaigning against assisted suicides in Canada and the U.S. Canada's system is far more advanced than America's where recipients in 10 states and Washington can request a cocktail of drugs that they ingest themselves, most often at home. About a dozen U.S. states have debated bills to legalize procedures this year. Legislation in Delaware cleared both houses, leaving Gov. John Carney with the ultimate decision about whether to sign it into law. Take a look at what's going on in this country, Hancock said in a warning to Americans. It's a Pandora's box. Once the lid is off, you cannot control it. All the restrictions disappear really quickly and your freedoms are undermined. Hancock is far from alone. Disability rights groups in both countries say made leaves the impaired even more vulnerable. Another Canadian, Tracy Polkzak, came forward this month about suffering similar problems in Quebec. Polkzak has spina bifida, a birth defect that can cause weak bones, and bemoans the worsening daily home care visits she gets in Point Claire, Montreal. Pain sucks. We all agree. It's terrible. I'm in pain 24-7. It never stops. I can survive that, she told CTV News. I cannot survive being treated like a sack of meat. On two separate occasions and without prompting, Polkzak says she was told she was eligible for MAID by members of her care team. It feels like we are being pushed towards the MAID program instead of being given the help to live, Polkzak said. I want to survive. I want to thrive. I want my life back. I want the opposite of what they're trying to have us do. Made teams are available in all Canadian hospitals to present the elderly and infirm with the option of a doctor-assisted death. But nurses are not supposed to be badgering disabled people about the terminal option, as was the case with Polkzak and Hancock. We are sorry and disgusted to hear of Heather's experience, Andrea Smith, a spokeswoman for Health Alberta, told D.